Former President Donald Trump became the first ever former president to be arraigned on federal criminal charges. He entered this courthouse earlier this afternoon and was arrested and processed, had his fingerprints taken, and then pleaded not guilty to 37 counts of federal criminal charges related to his handling of classified documents after he left the White House at his Mar-a-Lago resort here in Florida. There were hundreds of pro-Trump demonstrators that were here at the courthouse today, and after President Trump's departure, he did stop to speak with some of them at Cafe Versailles, a popular Cuban restaurant here in Miami. Then this evening, former President Trump will get back on his plane and head to Bedminster, New Jersey, where he will speak from his golf club there at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time and hold a campaign event. His campaign is expected to raise $2 million at tonight's event. As for where this legal case goes next, well, it will leave Miami and be transferred to West Palm Beach, where it will be overseen by Judge Eileen Cannon, who is a Trump appointee. And there is a potential that this could drag on for quite some time. President Trump has a reputation for making legal cases uh, drag on. So we could see this going well up to close to November 2024's presidential election or potentially even beyond.